Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, let's discuss a little bit of the uh, Windows 10 October 2018 update that uh, is going to appear soon on your PC. So where are we at? Are we still on schedule? I've got a few questions people have asking me um, that I will be answering here. So um, the first one is Will this update stay free? I've heard that Windows is going to be a paid service soon. No, Windows will not be a paid service for anyone except the enterprise. In the enterprise, it's already a paid service. It's always been like that. It's the way it works with volume licensing. For us consumers, no, Windows will not be paid, will not be a service that you'll have to pay. No worry about that. Stop thinking that this is going to happen. Too many websites have been reporting that, oh, well, you know, we're soon to have Windows 10 as a service uh, paid subscription. No. And there's no reason for Microsoft to do that because they know that they'd lose many more users by doing that than anything else. So Windows 10 October 2018 update is free. Staying is free. Not to worry about it. The um, second question, is my computer compatible with this version. Well, if your computer's running the April 2018 update, which is the latest update right now, your computer's compatible with the October 2018 update. Um, there have been times in the past where, yes, there were some uh, chipsets or certain types of CPUs that they kind of said, well, we're going to remove that. But in the October 2018 update, for now, there's no guidelines of anything removed. So if you are running April 2018 update, you will get October 2018 update. When's the date it's going to arrive? There's no official date yet, but it's supposed to be in the first half of October. Some of you said, well, you know, it's going to be like usual, like last time. It's going to be end of October. It's going to... Well, you know what? Right now, if we look at the insider builds that we have, this thing is pretty darn finished, very close to being finished. That means they're really on schedule. That means they are going to, unless there's like, you know, really a, a major bug or something that unusual, uh, the schedule is still around the 25th, the 25th of September. We will have Insider official RTM or official build. It'll be tested and it will be pushed to the, um, to everybody in the first half of October. So that's still old. It still seems to be like it's going to be like that because the bills that we've been receiving are pretty stable and pretty good. So, um, you know, I think they're working hard to make this a really good update. Um, you know, I get questions all the time about should I back up my stuff? You should always back up your stuff. You shouldn't even wait for an update to happen to back up. You should always back up. Hard drives are not eternal. Hard drives can fail. You can lose everything if you don't have at least two copies of what's important. And that uh, is not even a question of before the update do that. It's back up. It's very simple. If you don't back up, you will be burned at some point. You will lose data at some point, And you'll be sad. By backing up, it's not a problem. Um, the... Um, other question I've got, of course, is does it will it slow down my PC? Is this update a little, you know, heavier than the last? Uh, what's happening? Well, one of the things for sure is that since Windows 10 started, there really isn't any indication that the updates have slowed down or are a little heavier and have made PCs a little more sluggish. They seem to be working really hard on that side, and they seem to be really, really going well. And the fact that, yep. It's 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 going to stay the same. The performance you have on April 2018 update is the performance you'll have on October 2018 update. There shouldn't be a really much difference, honestly, in there. So, um, of course, there's a few features. There's some, you know, not that many, but there are some new features that will roll out, you know, uh, black, dark team file explorer, uh, some, um, you know, improvements to Microsoft Edge browser, uh, better menus, easier to read menus. Um, Edge has become a amazing ebook reader, PDF reader. Things like that are happening. So this is um, some of the th the stuff there. We'll have screen sketch. 
because the snip, snipping tool is going away, uh, which is replaced by the screen snip tool, which is interesting. Um, maybe not perfect. You know, I've got some feedback from some people saying, well, it's missing this or that, um, you know, off, uh, option. Yeah, okay. Uh, Cloud Clipboard is there, meaning that between Windows 10 October 2018 update machines, you'll be able to share anything that you actually have in the clipboard. It will show up in the notification area. So uh, there's a few stuff like that that are changing. Um, you know, better Windows updates also. We'll have smaller updates when we get updates for Windows 10 updates starting October 2018. This is good news. Of course, the enterprise is going to be happy starting with October 2018 update. Uh, they're getting 30 months of support before the version expires. Of course, Enterprise wants more, but at least Microsoft has kind of backed off a little bit, saying, well, okay, we're, we're going to move off that 24-month thing, and we're going to, let, let's give you, you know, well, it was actually 18 months, then it was 24 months, now it's like, okay, we'll give you 30 months. Um, unfortunately, that's not evil and or not something that, regular consumers will have which is sad honestly um i think there should be a little switch that you can turn on and say well you know my april 2018 update is working really well um maybe i don't want to go to the october 2018 update right now um i think that could be a you know the, without saying well never install it <clears throat> what they could do is you know just give a switch that says well give me six months before it happens and uh, at the same time, you know, you get cumulative updates, and of course, they fix things when they see, because even though they try to do their best in, in rolling out something that works well, there's always a small percentage of problems that will appear. It's going to roll out in waves that we know, uh, so that means not everybody's going to see it the first day that it's going to come out. But it, you know, if we look at the um, April 2018 rollout, speed i think uh you're gonna have it real soon and uh i think they're really push this in a very fast pace and um you know it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes and of course we're following that here so it's the place to be if there's anything if there's whatever happening we're gonna be here at the forefront of of videos and, and helping you understand and see what is going to to happen so that's pretty much the uh, answer to the questions that we've got. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.